Warren, do you feel there is a need for you to intensify your campaign? There's a need for you to, to be more visible in what you are doing? Well, this information doesn't surprise us at all. We've been trying to bring this information and these facts to the public's attention for a long time. The problem in South Africa is that the consciousness around the issue of addiction, the awareness is not there. Mm. When you say the word addiction to people, the first thing that comes back is the word drugs. Addiction is much bigger than drugs. Addiction is also a behavioral problem and there are behavioral addictions like gambling, sex and pornography. Mm. The problem is that the law does not cater and does not see these behaviors as addictions. It's only catered for under the law uh, through the Prevention of and Treatment for Substance Abuse Bill. Mm. And there's the problem right there. It's only dealing with substances. What does the bill say? Well, the bill is dealing with the prevention and treatment of substances. Mm. But it needs to cover behaviors. For instance, gambling. Gambling is not a substance. Mm. It's a behavior. Mm. Uh, last year, the casino industry brought in 15.6 billion rand. 5% mm. of gamblers are problem gamblers. But that 5% don't contribute to 5% of the turnover. Mm. They contribute to between 30 and 40% of that 15.6 billion. So while there is no legislation uh, identifying gambling as an addiction, the harm that's being caused uh, in other words, that 30% of the 15.6 billion is coming from people that cannot control themselves. Mm. And while there are no laws looking at addiction as an issue, and not just substances, it's not going to be dealt with properly. Why is there denial about the issue? I mean, if addiction is costing the country 20 odd million rands, why is national government in denial about the fact that it needs to be overall encompassing? Well, it's a very profitable issue. Uh, government is making a 14% VAT plus companies tax plus sin tax mm. on um, uh, alcohol, cigarettes, gambling, pornography, pharmaceuticals that are addictive. There are billions going to the government from legally addictive products and services. Mm. And the level of harm reduction spending is nowhere near what the income is that's coming in. Mm. And the income is not being used in areas where it should be used. It's being used to build our roads. It's being used for everything else except to deal with the issue of addiction. <laughs> and that's the problem. South Africa has become dependent on the income derived from addictive products and services.